Um, all right, my bro might be jumping in with us, folks. I I I, I had to get down with you. I I I I I had to get down with you today, San City Sports. Uh, in, in terms of, of of what is going on uh, in the world of sports, let me just let me just see if I can boop boop boop. Uh, let me just let me let me just see if I can let some people know what time it is. If I can let some people know what time it is. Um, in my fantasy sports league, we 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 doing this. Hold on, hold on. I know this is not the best production. I apologize. I apologize. It's not the best production. My bro just hit me up. He's going to be joining shortly. Folks in the fantasy league are talking. I'm talking. Just let I'm, I'm just putting them on to the to, to 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 the live in case they do. All right, and folks, we're going to work backwards. You see what's on my chest, folks. You see what's on my chest in terms of my New York Knicks. A lot to say about what happened in the Big Apple. Madison Square Garden. I am not a happy camper right now. I'm not happy. Hook, line, sinker, however you want to. I, I, I'm disgruntled. And I checked in with my people, Nick's Fan T TV. Shout out to CP the franchise. I don't play a hate. I congratulate. We got a lot of different uh, content creators that are doing dynamic things. I'm here for it all. You understand? And I'm trying to build up. I, I, this is my passion project that I'm doing. I'm doing my little thing that I do. This is what I do. You understand? Uh, but but Knicks Nation, I was ready to wear this, folks. I was ready to wear this on Thursday in Boston. I was ready for the Eastern Conference Finals, my New York Knicks to come to, to Beantown. I was going to go to Beantown we were, you know, with my Knicks gear proud. Okay? And there was going to be no problems. There was going to be no issues. It was going to be all respect and love of sports, Boston number one sports city. And, and I, I, I just, did I, did I sleep on the Pacers? Maybe. What they did, but even with the historic shooting per performance, yes, they broke an NBA record. They shot 67% for the entire game, NBA record. I still stand by the Knicks could have won this, won this game. And I'm going to get to, you know, and, and you saw they, they cut it to seven, six, whatever it was in the second, uh, third quarter. It right there and ended up still catching a 20 piece with the special sauce. They still caught a 20 piece with special sauce. I'm not happy. I'm not hearing any excuses about injuries. Flat out, they got mad dogged. The energy and the swag of the Tyrese House. And, and we, 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 folks, what the time is it? It's 10 it's 1051 on, on the Eastern Coast. Okay, folks, we know what we just saw in the Western Conference. Ooh, that Ant Man Edwards. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to the West first, and then we're gonna backtrack to my New York Knicks. My heart is hurting. My 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 next year, I, I, I'm rocking here to here for San City. I'm rocking this for San City. But I was I was ready to to, to, to be in Beantown on Thursday for the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, but but you know, uh, it, it it is it is it is what it is. Let me go over to the live on uh, YouTube to see. Let me see if I can just jump in. I jump into it. Okay, okay, okay. So so okay. Let me see if anybody's over in the chat. I don't see I don't see too much chat going on, but just to keep just to keep my eye on that, um, just to keep my own eye on the okay okay the YouTube. I'm working. Thank you for being patient with me as I work through my technical difficulties and and just getting getting that in order. It's always the first part of the show, um, but I just want to communicate with those that are that are still up. A couple of people might might still be up, might still be rocking with us, and so I want to uh, have sensitivity and all of that stuff in terms of let me see the Facebook okay nobody's rocking with us on the Facebook just yet but 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 we live and we doing what we need to do um and now we're going to get right into it folks we're gonna get right into it what the heck happened in Denver folks I picked Minnesota heart head Denver all right I was out walking Willis for the first half I'm not I'm not ashamed of that I had to Willis needed to go for a walk we went for our walk we walk about a mile and change Close, maybe close to two miles through the neighborhood, good neighborhood. So me and Willis was out on our walk um, at dusk, you know, as it, you know, the sun is setting and even, you know, it gets a little dark when we got back. So I didn't see the first half in its entirety, but Denver was up 20, rolling. Okay, checked in the inside the NBA 
And and I said, hey, that, that it is what it is. Denver, they're the experienced team. They've been there before. And that that's what my gut was telling me in in um in this game seven situation. That Minnesota, the new kids on the block, they had the swagger to the this, you know, but it 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 was it was Denver. They're the defending champions. Okay. And I'm gonna cut to the quick on this. And then I'm going to roll because I got I got there's a lot that, that that has to be unpacked quite a bit that has to be unpacked. But in terms of Denver, folks, when they challenged for the NBA championship in that bubble uh, playoffs, and that's a real that's a real championship. Okay, that's not that's not hold on hold on, that's not. Uh, let me see what's going on. Uh, let me see. I let the folks in the chat. Okay, see if anybody in the fantasy chat is going to is going to jump on. Back to Denver. They competed for an NBA championship in the bubble, down 3-1 against a very good Utah Jazz team that could have well won a championship. And, and those Quinn Snyder peak years, they were down 3-1 against that Utah team. Prime Donovan Mitchell. And we'll get to Donovan Mitchell in the New York Knicks talks. Came all the way back. Down 3-1 against the Los Angeles Clippers team that was supposed to bring that championship back to L.A. for Steve Ballmer, richest owner in team sports. Top 10 richest people in the world. Down 3-1 against that Clippers team. Sent them packing. And the Lakers had their number, and they ran out of gas in the Western Conference Finals. What's going on, bro? Thanks so much for being here. Um, we're talking Nuggets and and T-Wolves. We're breaking down. I, I'm just going from the Denver perspective. Um, can you hear me? And, 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 yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yep. You, you can hear me. I can hear you. We're good to go. Uh, we're talking Nuggets. And T Wolves, listen. Um, <clears throat> fact of the matter uh, is, is, is look, Denver. This is a true championship team that has earned their stripes. I'm going all the way back to the bubble. I'm going back four years. Right? They weren't healthy until last year when they won the championship. Meaning, folks, if Denver Nuggets had been healthy. From 2020 to 2024, we wouldn't talk. We wouldn't be talking about, in my view, a one-time NBA champion. Denver Nuggets could have, would have, should have, if if or a fifth. Yeah, no. Won, won hey, injuries are part of the game, though. I don't see multiple championships, Dre. I just see, you know, that's a part of the playoffs. Every team is dealing with injuries right now. Look at your Knicks. Yeah, we're gonna get back to my Knicks, but yes, yeah, injuries happen. Um, but listen, this Denver Nuggets team, in terms of what happened tonight, yes, it's a part. But had they you been know, healthy for four straight years, would they have won more than one championship? And we know if what Denver happened Nuggets tonight. Were healthy, you know what happened tonight? They don't have a bench. That's what happened tonight. Okay. Uh, Christian Braun, where are you? Reggie Jackson, where are you? Where are you? Uh, I, don't, I, don't know which, I don't know which holiday brother that's on their team, but where are you? Uh, they booked their flight to Cancun. That's where they were. Right. The, the, the narrative that the Nuggets don't have a bench, okay, point taken, meaning they don't have a Bruce Bowen. They don't have a fill it up. And not, not that Bruce Bowen was a fill it up scorer, but he could score. They, 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 they never replaced Bruce Bowen. So I'll give you that. But Christian Braun knows his business. Reggie Jackson knows his business. Those are Christian Braun's more of a, a Swiss Army knight. <clears throat> But Reggie Jackson, you're talking about he should be scoring. The Holiday brother, we know the Holiday brother. Reggie Jackson's 35. Reggie Jackson's 35 years old. Okay. Who did they bring? They didn't bring in. They don't have a big that comes off the bench. No. Um, Joker played every minute besides one minute. He was tired. At the end of the game, he was exhausted. Okay, and we saw that in New York, and I, I will. I'm not conceding that, though. At the end of the game, he was exhausted. You're up 20 points in the third quarter. So what are you talking about a bench? You just got to land the plane. No. Okay. What happened is, in my view, same thing that happened with my Knicks. Jokic and Jamal Murray looked over at the next face to the NBA, Anthony Edwards, and they blinked. That's what happened. When it, Anthony when Edwards had 16 points. Name, what are you talking about? Uh, 16 points. How about those two steals? Okay. How, how, six, about, how about the six, he had sixteen points? How many? If you're gonna talk about anybody. You talk about Cat. 
this was a team. It was effort. a team effort. And, it and it, it was absolutely, but you can't say they blinked twice and Anthony Edwards made them win this game. There was a full blown team effort, even Nas coming off the bench. That is why the Nuggets they don't they didn't have that formula this year where if it came down to who's going to win the best team effort game, yeah, you might win the race, but the game is going to be the full game, and in game seven, the best team is going to win. Okay, and the best team up until the last 16 – no, 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 20 – the best team for the first 28 minutes was the Denver Nuggets. Okay, I, that's, I, why there's two, that's why there's two halves of basketball, Andre. Yeah, right? All right, of course, it's right towards basketball. But my point in terms of teams that got mad dogged, you're saying that Jokic and, and Jamal Murray now all of a sudden it's because they don't have a bench and they, and they got tired. What I'm saying is at some point you look across at the man, other person in the ring with you, okay, and, and you, 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 you see well, you heard Well, you heard Ant say it. You heard Ant say, who's the MVP? The man named Jaden McDaniels. Okay, Jaden McDaniels. Okay. Yeah. And Anthony Edwards, he was honest that his offense wasn't there. He trust his teammates. Well, it's not even Jaden McDaniels. McDaniels the whole series guarding Jamal Murray. You don't understand. Jaden McDaniels is the MVP for this team because, you know, his next task is Luka. Okay, and good luck with that. All right, and yeah. back to Jaden McDaniels, yes, I'm a, I'm a Jaden McDaniels fan, and we reference the fact that he's a lot. He's a big part of the reason why they have the number one defensive efficiency rating. Uh, they're starting five. He's a huge part of that as a 3 and D guy. But Jaden McDaniels in this series – where where did he go in games three, four, and five? Uh, yeah, I think he had, games three, four, and five. When Jay they didn't McDaniels have Conley, when he two. disappeared, he disappeared when they didn't have Conley. Noticeably, okay, he disappeared when they didn't have Conley. So yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty much obvious. Yeah, Conley's the glue guy. Conley's the glue guy, but I, I, I'm not not going to go there with Jaden McDaniels being the. Re- I'm saying Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Downs, Jaden McDaniels. Just no, this is about stars. It's about stars. And Jokic and Jamal Murray were – Tonight was not about stars. Tonight was not about stars. They weren't. Because you can't say Jokic and Murray were MIA. I think what? Jokic had what, 34 points? Murray had what, 29? 29? One of them had 34, one of them had 29. So okay. for you to say MIA is, is, is crazy. It's not crazy because 25 – of those 29 points, 24 of those 29 points for Jamal Murray were in the first half. But Murray averaged 19 no, points the whole series. Second. Murray averaged 19 points the whole series. So what are you talking about? What 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 production are you expecting from those two players in this game? Because it wasn't on I them. Expect- the, it was on Aaron Gordon, who who no boy nowhere to be found. I don't think Aaron Gordon shot a jump shot. Michael Porter Jr., who found who found himself on the bench. To end the game, KCP who he hit his two threes, and you know that's what that, that's what it, that's what it was. They got outplayed man to man, and that was my point to begin with. Man to man, star to star, MVP candidate to MVP candidate. Jokic and Jamal Murray looked across the way at Cat. Anthony Edwards and Rudy Gobert, three against two. That was my point to begin this series, which is why I picked Minnesota. Minnesota, pound for pound, is more talented. And this goes back to your point about a bench, which I will concede. But I'm talking about the starting five. Minnesota's starting five is more talented than Denver's starting five. Wrong. Any story. And it comes wrong. To- wrong. No. no. I'm not wrong. Wrong. I'm not, I'm not wrong. No. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. Minnesota's starting five is better than Denver's starting no, five. No, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. You we, we, are wrong, we sir. We went down we the went list. We went down the list. What are you talking about? So Aaron Gordon is not better than Cat Williams? Are you serious? Did you say Aaron Gordon is better than Carl Anthony Towns? That's your no. That's your I don't. It's, it's not. It's not even close. So Minnesota has the better starting five. Yes. That, that, that's what player I just said. Player for player. Yeah, player for player. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Now back All to right. my original point about being mad dogged and Minnesota. When it when when it got hairy when when the push came to shove, this is what I'm saying. Mike Tyson. Everybody has a plan to get punched in the mouth. What I'm saying is in, the, in round 12, 13, 14, and 15, down the stretch, Jokic and Jamal Murray looked at Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, and Rudy Gobert. 
two, oh, let's just say let's just say Anthony Edwards and Cat. Let's leave Rudy Gobert out of this. Let's leave Rudy and Aaron Gordon and, and Jamal Murray and Jaden again. Let's leave the two the two superstars. Now Cat, you know, and Jamal Murray, but the two perennial all stars, let's just say. I'm still here. Looking at each other. What I'm saying is that Minnesota was younger, they're more explosive, they're more dynamic. They were the more thorough. And what, what what we saw in this series, Denver was exposed as a highly efficient but not necessarily athletic team. That's what I'm saying. It gets to a point in, in sports where you look across and who is the who is the more sporting, for lack of a better term, who is the, the, the more supreme athlete? And if this came down to efficiency and strategy – advantage Denver but Minnesota playing together with a coach that put together a, a you know Minnesota is a well coached well composed back to your point about Mike Conley that's what I'm saying second half which this this is this is a narrative three-time MVP right that's a, where's the three-time MVP all-time great player he got mad dogged he got mad dog tonight that's what I'm saying and that's something a narrative that we need to hear I'm not a Jokic hater. I'm not saying. Well, you know, you, well, you know, you know who's never gotten mad dog, Shaq. Shaq did get mad dog. Go back to the two, two, 2004 NBA Finals against the Detroit Pistons. Okay, Shaq is taking his lumps. All right, Shaq is. A, a, it, it, it happens to the best of them, but we didn't expect it in the second half when you're up 20 for it to happen to Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray. Um, this is he got mud in his face as well. He's got some significant mud on his face as well. Okay. Um, your lighting is good. Yeah. There you go. Move it out of the frame. It's still in the frame. You gotta. There we go. Very nice. There we go. You can see. You might want to move it just a little bit uh, to your left. To your left, move your screen a little. Move your screen to the left. Keep that there. What is? And then there you go. Now you got it. Very nice. Use that for the twitch. Yeah. My point again about alphas and about blinking. There's no shame. Okay. There's no shame for that. That, that Tommy Hearns lost to Marvin Hagler. There's no shame that Muhammad Ali lost to Joe Frazier in the first bout. There's no frame. There's, there's, there's no shame, you know. Um, you know, Larry Holmes. Shout out to Larry and Muhammad. That's a great thirty for thirty. When two champions, you know, what do I do? I'm a critic. I'm not in the arena, but it is a narrative. It is a point. Nikola Jokic, three-time MVP. All of this, you know, and he deserves it. He looked across and he blanked tonight. Anthony Edwards looked him dead in the face and said, "I don't care about the MVPs. I don't care about all of this." I'm here. See me. Okay? You, you were up 20. You lost by 10. That's a 30-point swing. And there's a lot of things that went into it. And to your point, Jaden McDaniels played his role. Rudy Gobert, are you kidding me with that turnaround jump shot out of the timeout? Are you kidding me? Turnaround jump shot? Are you kidding me? And we're going to get to how these teams played on the road because the, the Indiana Pacers couldn't miss. You know, for, any, for all the all the rupees in India, they couldn't miss. But Rudy Gobert makes a crazy turnaround. And what does he do on a defensive end? He blocks uh, Aaron Gordon and Jokic to win a defensive possession. So it was it was a collective effort. But the NBA is about star players. It's about alphas. And tonight, the big dog on the block was, is Anthony Edwards even 25 years old? What is he? You know? Can he even, can he even rent a car? Can he rent a car on the road, or does his agent have to do that for him? How old is the man? All right? But he has proven. The, the issues for him coming out of Georgia that I had, maturity, shooting too many jump shots, is he coachable? All of those, I was dead wrong. And, again, shout-out to Anthony Edwards. Shout-out to Clutch Sports. If you want to go see something, you, you don't judge a book by its cover. Check out Anthony Edwards on draft day. It was it was very respect. It, it, it was, you know, it was a heartfelt thing that that, that happened. Okay, because Anthony Edwards lost his grandmother, lost his mother. They had murals of both of them on each side of him on draft day. 
Okay, you don't know what somebody's carrying in their heart. But the things, you know, in terms of basketball and his consistency and his love of the game and his willingness to to, to expand his game and not just live around a three point line, and his ability to to be a team first guy, he's answered all those in spades. And now all of a sudden he's on his way to being the next face of the NBA. And we okay. got the same so, birthday. Tr- oh, I didn't realize that. Shout out to August 5th. Anthony Edwards, born on August 5th. I didn't realize that. It's fun fact of the night. Shout out to Anthony Edwards and, uh, you know, sharing a bro- birthday with my bro. Okay. Tonight's about a lot of things, bro. And I'm going to let you go ahead and jump in. Um, it's obviously a tale of two halves. But Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray are not escaping. As far as I'm concerned. They're not escaping. You're the defending champions. You're a three-time, and a lot of it on Jokic, but Murray, you're going to get some too. Well, you got to understand, man. You gave up a 20-point lead. The NBA has had five different NBA champions the last five years. So there ain't no dynasty running in in, in Denver. Nope. There could have been. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Listen. um, You know what? That's what happens when you don't bring back your bench. point about the bench that's i'm not going to argue i'm not going to fight that i'm not going to you that's a, a good point what i'm saying though is nobody would be worried about a bench if they just hold on to that 20 point lead nobody would be worried about they a bench couldn't hold they, on the bench they couldn't even get joker a second to, to to get a gatorade my boy needed my boy needed a water my boy needed to take a seat my boy was tired and i'm going to push back a little bit on that he didn't look tired hitting threes down the stretch. Jokic oh, he, he made buckets. He, he 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 showed signs and, and continued to. I, I don't he know. Shot I, what? Did he hit one three. He shot one or eight. I don't think he wanted to come out of the game. I don't think Murray wanted to come out of the game. I just think they couldn't outmaneuver. They were up by out- twenty points, Andre. You come out of the game for a second. Or maybe you call a timeout. Or you call a timeout. Think. Yeah. You know, Denver had so, two down the stretch. So what what what, so what are we what, they, what are we doing? But they finished the game with two timeouts, so you finish the game with two timeouts. You blow a thirty I mean you face a thirty point swing, you know, on two timeouts. So you know it comes down to at some point, you're up twenty, your coach gotta coach the team to win the game, and they didn't you know, Malone really dropped the ball in terms of his, his plan. I don't know what it was. No timeout? Nothing? Nothing. Uh, so Mike Malone, he's, he's got to get he got to get some of this mud in his face. Uh, he's not exempt uh, from, from this circumstance. Hold on, let me go over here. Let me, let me, I, think Malone, I think Malone should be getting the brunt, the brunt uh, uh, of this. Awful, poor coaching. You finish the game with two timeouts and blow a, th- a twenty-point lead. That big, you blow the biggest lead in Game Seven history, and you finish the game with timeouts. What are we doing here? Um, and Mike Malone, one of my favorite coaches. Denver Nuggets, one of my favorite teams. I'm going on and on about the Nuggets, but. You know, I'm a little bit upset and, and, and I'm heartbroken for my Knicks. But for the Nuggets, I don't like the fact that they don't make it past the divisional round after winning the championship. I flat don't like that fact. If they're, if they're going to lose, I would have preferred for them to lose in the Western Conference Finals. Nonetheless, I'm super excited about Minnesota and their rise. Is it a year early? Should, should, what, what I have liked, liked well, who cares what I like? What I have picked, Minnesota Timberwolves to break through. Next year, much more more so than this year, yes. And a part of that is their youth and experience. But another part of that is I w- I'm not ready. And not to say that Denver's quote-unquote reign is over. Um, but, again, we have the Devin Booker example. The reign we is over. The, we saw the Phoenix Suns, but they actually won it. And, and now the Nuggets go back into the mix of the West. Because everybody in the West comes back next year better. And that's a little bit 
again, back to my the original point, this is a team that has been competitive for championships, and, and there's no two ways about it, since 2020. This, this, They've been competitive also, for championships since 2020, yes. and they just have not been healthy. So you okay. you, you, they you can missed, say the same thing they about missed, the Heat. They missed two years of a championship window because of injury, and now, again, you can say, so you can about say the same thing win. about the Heat. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe no. Well, I, okay, your point taken. If if they had Tyler Hero last year, but they, they, I, I wouldn't pick them to beat Denver with Tyler Hero. Um, and in terms of a championship window last year with the Heat, and then this year losing Jimmy Butler, why don't you get the heck out of the playing round before? I, I shed any tears for you. Well, this is where I came down from is the the Nuggets lose last last day of the season to lose home court. And that, you know, that was a, a big sign for Denver. Because as the coach, you got to, that's a must win game. Especially when you don't go to the White House because you're trying to win the one seed. So you lose to the Spurs. Who finished the season with what 19 wins? That is why I say the Nuggets, the Nuggets, <laughs> the Spurs are gonna be in the playoffs next year. So figure it out. Like, you know, Joker, how do you stop Joker? You put height on him. Joker, the NBA is getting taller by the avatars are getting coming in the NBA. Good luck in the West. Denver's not going anywhere in terms of being contenders. Will they win another championship? Will they make it back no. to the finals? No. It's over. That window closed. Nope. Over. Because they're not beating they're not beating the T Wolves in a seven game series. We run that back. They hold on to a twenty point lead. They beat them tonight. Okay. Well, guess what? You did it. Window closed. But you can feel that way. I, I I see it differently. I'm holding out hope for Denver, but at the same time, no, there's there's no hope. There's no hope. Not, the Thunder are getting Thunder got a little older. Timberwolves battle tested. Mavericks battle tested. Okay, and then you have a bunch of question marks. Then you have a bunch of question marks. Right, I, you call a bunch of question marks. Phoenix. Uh, sorry, Clint, say no. No, they're not in there. They're not in there. Clippers, no. No. Kings, yes. Yes. Spurs, Spurs yes. Young, yes. Young, yes. Young. It's going to take them time. It's going to take them. It's going to take them some Spurs time. Are gonna, Spurs are going to watch the Spurs make moves this year in the uh, off season. Lakers, I no. Just go New Orleans, no. Utah, no. No. So they still, they still are, are no, in the no, conversation. No, no, they'll be there. But I'm upset. For, I, I'm just saying that they, they are not making it out of the second round. It's it's finito. They will. They maybe will get out of the first round. They're no longer making it out of the second round. They are no. They're not a because top of, four because team. Because of what teams? They're not because a top four team teams. in the West. So besides Minnesota, who's better than them? Uh, besides Minnesota, who's better than them? Thunder? Will be better than them next year. Thunder, who couldn't force a game seven? Hey, Thunder were the youngest one seed ever. All right, and they and they they played they, they played play, they played they played a team who I mean what Luca has been playing pro you know they're a young the youngest team in NBA history as a one seed. So honestly, if you're if you were expecting them to win that game, Vegas knew they were going to lose that game. They were heavy underdogs. Yeah, on the road. Know it, but I didn't know it. But it was on the road. You expect them when young boys come out and we went on the road? They were up 16 points on the road. Like you said, like you said, in the playoffs, you know, leads, the best, like, battle-tested players. Yeah, they have shy, but who else? You know, Kyrie and Luka turned it up fourth quarter. Where Jalen Williams, you're there. I don't know. Yeah, he did. He had some huge buckets down the stretch. But when it comes down to fourth quarter, you're going against Kyrie, that's going to be tough. All right, Luke and Kyrie can score. Shea Gillis-Alexander put that team on his back down the stretch. Yeah. Very pleased 
with how he showed me an MVP. Rather, you know, and he's obviously intelligent, all the intangibles, but he just he stepped up. Particularly, there was a time he came, he came up. He had a three after Dallas came back. You know, he had a three to keep it right there in in the margins. That was an unfortunate foul. It was certainly a foul. It was just, you know, you, he didn't need to do it. You know, the guy he didn't need to do he it. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't need, need to go for the block. If he, he had just he, flown, you know, he, yeah, he, he should have flown had, by. Had his hand up and contested. That's yeah. not, you know, and you know, even though Washington, he, you know, that's not their best spot up shooter. He's a good spot up but shooter. He went for he went he went for the he went for the big play. To be honest, and he didn't need to do it. He didn't need to do it. So tough way for the game to end bottom line though is okc is not better than denver next year yes if, if you just bring both teams back okay there and, and and the only reason i can say that they would be is my argument about getting mad dog and being an alpha meaning yes to your point they are younger and they are more explosive and to your point about a bench you know i just think they might need all of their players are they don't have explosive players and they don't have young players. So how do you integrate Golden? And by the way, Golden State could, failed at this. So it's a tough nut to crack, right? Golden State tried to bring in Jordan Poole. They tried to bring in James Wise. Well, they tried you know, to bring Christian Braun Jonathan. was supposed to be that fit. Christian Braun is know. not of that category. Christian Braun is a is a good, serviceable role player. Christian Braun is he's their a young nice guy. Piece. He's their young. Okay. He's their young piece. He's the reason why they let go of Bruce. Bruce. Okay, and to the point we already, and, we already that established, was the, that we already was established the, that they they made a mistake not replacing Bruce Bowen. What I'm saying is that it's hard to weld together ascending stars and current stars. It's difficult, and Golden State failed miserably at this, which is why they're in the state that they're at right now. Jonathan Kaminga, James Wiseman, they got rid of. Um, who's the other? Jordan Poole, out and out disaster. Uh. Poor, uh, I can't pronounce his name. The rookie that they have this year is, is a nice fit. But you can see that there was tension and uh, convolutedness, if that's even a word, right? You got Pazorski, apologize for the pronunciation, who was the better player. But then you got Clay there, who's still holding on, right? So hopefully Golden State makes the right move this year and gives Clay a reduced contract. You're taking less money, Clay, period, end of story, and you're coming off the bench. That's your role. You're in the Manu Ginobili role now. And even though we can't expect you to be anything close to Ginobili, missing three straight years and getting along in the tooth, it's hard to weld established superstars with ascending stars. But that's what Denver has to do. Michael Porter Jr., Frankly, all this talk, he should have been the alpha athletic player. There's no reason why Jaden McDaniel should be outmaneuvering Michael Porter Jr. But what you saw, you know, and Michael Porter Jr., he, you know, he's going through some things in his personal life and, you know, respect. But he was supposed to be the young lion, not just the three points, you know, volume shooting player. And that's the rep. Denver well, did an outstanding. They drafted him with a broken back. Okay, but they did a they did an outstanding job, buy low, sell high, because they brought him in, they let him get healthy over two three years, and now he's a serviceable starter on a championship team. But my point is, he's his back is not an issue right now. So where the heck no. is the defense? Where the heck is the attacking the basket? You're a you're a glorified you're a glorified Kyle Corver is what you are. You're glorified Kyle Corver. He really is a catch and, and shoot. And with his athleticism, the, well, the catch and shoot guy. Yeah. So is Kyle Korver. But Michael Porter Jr. can give you a tremendous amount more with his athletic ability than a doggone just straight, straight up and catch and shoot guy. Jaden McDaniels, all right, who can shoot better? Kyle, my, MPJ or Jaden McDaniels? Yes, MPJ can shoot better. But look at everything else Jaden McDaniels brings to the table. He's a true 3 and D guy. Who's the 3 and D guy for Denver? That's right. He doesn't exist. Yeah, and it should one. be Michael Porter Jr. Exactly. So in terms him. of I'm, that's I'm, why he's on the hurts. bench to end the game. Okay. He doesn't, yeah. play, he doesn't even play defense. Okay. So that point taken to your point. Yes. They need a bench, but what I'm saying is they need a bench and you know, you know, who would have helped them a lot. A guy like a Jay Crowder, 
a guy like a PJ Tucker, a guy, you know, that savvy veteran that just come in and mix it up and do the things that Michael Porter Jr. should be able to do, but he's never done. <laughs> like right? a Marcus, uh, Marcus, like a Marquise Morris or Marcus exactly, Morris brothers. Yes. One of them. Yeah, one of the Morris brothers. Just a grizzled veteran, you know, presence, physical to do the things. Michael Porter Jr., personal life. I'm not, you know, you know, good, bad, or indifferent. But they needed you not they needed you to be a third dude. Yeah. Just to he, win possessions. I, I and he couldn't he do it. The and the thing about Aaron Gordon. Eight points. Aaron Gordon also, you know, he's a guy that w- he's not. Aaron Gordon is not the explosive athlete that he once was, and you saw it. Carl Anthony Towns, Michael Porter Jr. misses, excuse me, uh, uh, Michael Conley misses the layup. Who comes flying in with the tip dunk? Who comes flying in nice. with the tip dunk? That's my point that I'm making. No, no, MPG, that, that, that was Cat. Cat flew in with the, with the tip dunk. Nas might have well, got Nas, a tip. Cat flew. Nas had, one, Nas had a tip dunk to, in the fourth quarter. Okay, well, they both were getting tip dunks. Where the heck is Aaron Aaron Gordon? Where the heck is Michael Porter Jr.? That's my point about Denver. Aaron this Gordon was M- I- a- M- I- The game plan was, second half, literally was to force Michael to, to, win, to shoot and score and Aaron Gordon. Double, keep doubling Joker. Jamal cooled out. I mean, Jamal let Jamal get his points. Shut down those other three. No doubt. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. We're going to keep going, bro. The Facebook, we might wind that down a little bit. But we got we to gotta, we gotta, we gotta get in here and talk about this, folks. It's a little little bit late but it's not that late it's not that late uh on the on the east coast and we had uh two game sevens that have to be discussed that have to be broken down um and long story not so long um I, i'm i'm what's the word that i'm looking for what's the word that i'm i'm i'm, I'm discouraged now discourage is too is, is too much i'm disheartened i'm disheartened with my next you know, m- much more so, and, and then with and then with the Denver Minnesota. Well, let's wrap the, uh, the, the 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 T Wolves uh, Denver. You know, because I do think that, and I, I'm not sorry that we're going on and on and on about Denver. Uh, you know, their championship window, it's gotten that much more narrow. I would have liked to have seen them at least get to the finals and lose to the Celtics. There would be a lot more respect on their names had that been the case. But going out in the divisional round to a very good Minnesota Timberwolves team, that's just the luck of the draw. They would have been much better off with the four seed rather than the two seed and facing uh, the monster of, of, of Minnesota. If you know, uh, because obviously OKC, you know, the new kids on the block, they certainly have some growing to and, and learning to do. Um, it's nice for the league to see the next face of the league, uh, uh, Anthony Edwards coming into his prime. Bottom line, I'm just you know, a little bit disheartened. But that's the right word. There's a little bit of empathy that I have that Anthony Edwards' rise has to be at the expense of Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, and this Denver Nuggets team. What I'm saying is I wouldn't have a problem if this was the Western Conference Finals. But for it to take place in the divisional round hurts my heart a little bit. In terms of Minnesota, I had them going to the finals. And... We just saw it. They're more of a threat to the Boston Celtics than the Denver Nuggets are. Right? Then Boston Celtics could have done the same thing. I, I, a lot of the reason that I picked the Boston Celtics is because they're more athletic and they're deeper than the, the, the Denver Nuggets. They're not more athletic than the Minnesota Timberwolves. Timberwolves period. Right? Minnesota Timberwolves have the best player on the court in Anthony Edwards. He's the best player on the court. Now, what does this mean in terms of a threat to Boston? Jalen Brown, it's time for you to step the heck up. Drew yeah. Holiday, it's time for you to step the heck up. Derek White, right? Fringe all-star. 
That's why I'm really concerned about Minnesota because the Celtics lack height and Minnesota's huge. They're huge. And that's going to be an issue. Um, Chris BP, if he's healthy, he needs to be healthy. He better be healthy. There's no, so let's just say, assuming health and Chris BP is healthy. He's got his hands full because full. Carl, Carl Anthony Towns, like, you know, pound for pound is better than Chris BP. And that's not debatable. Carl Anthony Towns is a better player than, 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 than Christoph Porzingis. Chris, Porzingis has been playing very well these last two years, defending, rebounding, hitting the three. But Carl Anthony Towns is better than him. Okay. And you also throw in Rudy Gobert. Now, yes, he, he's not an offensive threat, and he, you know, he hurts your, your spacing, as uh, Charles Barkley was saying inside the NBA. But what, my, what I'm getting at is starting Tatum at the four, Tatum is really going to have to rebound. He's going to have his hands full, you know, because if he doesn't, Gobert is just going to gobble up so many offensive rebounds and then re- cause havoc, right? The Celtics, what do they want to do? They want to shoot a bunch of threes. Well, guess what? Rudy right. Gobert can defend the three-point line. He can get out and put a hand up on that three-point shooter and force you off the three-point line. So, you know, the same way I said Minnesota's starting five was better than Denver's, and I meant that. Minnesota's starting, it's very close. It's very very close. Boston starting five and Minnesota starting five. Advantage Boston because, but here's what, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's where this series, a lot of it comes down to, and, and then you can jump in. Drew Holiday has to dominate Mike Conley. Oh, yeah. He has to dominate his ass. Dominate. Dominate. Meaning, meaning Joe Mazzula, Sam Cassell, Charles Lee, Emil Jefferson, get into your damn playbook and post Drew Holiday up against Mike Conley. I need you to find me a set where Conley, you, where, you where Drew Holiday is. You won't be able to do that. No Why? Because go bear? Why, yeah, Gobert? There, exactly. You will be able no, to do that because you if you post up Mike Conley, then Chris BP should be spotting up for three. You should be well, able to do that. We got to see up- Chris BP. Chris BP has got to play first. I, before I even start talking about Chris Zingas, I said I'm, I'm I gotta assuming health. I got to see. I got to see him. True. 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 I'm assuming health. But but we have to. We have to. We got to see health first. I, I want to talk what about we what what we, what we see right now. I don't want to assume anything. Um, and going in, we have a, a a tested team in in the Pacers. Do I feel like they do they have enough to compete with the Celtics right now? Absolutely not. And the reason why is, you know, they have one of our bench players. I mean, he uh, who's, who's this small forward for Boston Pacers? Spicy Pete? Who's the uh, small forward for the Pacers? Small forward for the Pacers. They start, um, um, is it Niebuhr? Yeah. Halliburton, Neesmith, Niebar. Well, he Spicy used to play for, he and, used to play for the, for the Celtics. So if Jalen Brown doesn't put up at least 25 a game, I'm going to be very disappointed. Needs is a good defender. Yeah, I need Jalen Brown to take take his lunch money, just like he did in practice. I would say, okay, Nebar I think is their defender is the one that you can really go no. at. Naismith, Nate, Naismith is going to be guarding. Nebar is going to Neymar is going to be guarding Derek White. Uh, Derek White. Okay, you. Uh, Listen, I just I, I think I think Nee Smith is a better defender than Nebar, and so uh, and I apologize, you know, not not pronouncing the last name correctly. But your your point is well taken in that, and and I said it's the same thing against Indiana. I need more offensively from Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is a good facilitator, and he makes the right pass. Good. He's got to put pressure on Tyrese Halliburton. He's got to put pressure on you know. Those guards, and, and and it's the same thing. Tyrese Halliburton is what, 6'3", like maybe 6'4", and thin? Drew Holiday is 6'5", and burly. I need Holiday to start to impose his will and, and win these matchups. 
to start with against Indiana, and if it ends up being against the Timberwolves, it can't be Mike Conley and Drew Holiday are just a wash doing the same thing. No, that because can't Anthony be. Edwards is obviously Anthony Edwards is much better than Derek White, and that's going to be again Derek White. You need to make Anthony Edwards work. Derek White scoring, being a threat. Okay, Jaden McD- Jaden Daniels can give J- Jalen Brown some trouble. He's a very good defender. Now you go to Tatum and Cat. Advantage Tatum, but Cat is no slouch. And then go Bear and Crispy. Crispy has to win that matchup, and it's going to be difficult. So Minnesota is more of a threat to Boston than Denver. Absolutely. They're a, they're a, they're a threat. And then of Minnesota course, is a th- I think Minnesota is a, is a threat to win it all right now. I mean, yeah. obviously they're. And then you. And then you bring up the good point. They have the six man of the year. They have um, slow mo. Prior to St. Anthony's out of New Jersey, they got Kyle Anderson. They bring in Tyus Jones or whatever. You know. They have pieces off the bench as well. No, they don't have Tyus Jones. They got Morris. They got uh, Alexander. Okay, okay, Morris, right? Morris, right? Yeah, yeah. Alexander, another. They're they're deep. They got a bench. Let's just put it that way. So the Mavs, they got their hands full. I'm yawning, but we 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 doing what we doing. My, 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 we we here, San City Sports. We're on the Facebook live check, and I know it's late. It's also, bro. You realize next weekend's Memorial Day. What? Okay, we tell we next weekend's Memorial Day weekend, just like that. Okay, so it is late, but. It, it's also the season. Tis the season to to, 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 to get it on and crack. And we're 50 minutes into this call. We're going to go 11.35. We might have to go all the way up to midnight. It's just the way that it has to be uh, because I haven't even gotten into my New York Knicks. I know it's late on t- in terms of the Facebook Live. Uh, people rocking with us and the YouTube Live is, is, is what it is. Um, it, we got to get into a couple more things. So... Celtics gentlemen sweep or sweep of the Pacers? Uh, I think, yeah, gentlemen's. Indiana, okay. And that's a nice, like, little segue. We're going to touch on some, some more sports topics. And, and look, Pacers, it, it was a historic night. Scored 130 points. Scored 70 points in the first half. Shot 67% from the field. I tip my hat to this team. They saved their best for last. And not just the shooting percentages. That I mean, they, they shot the lights out. You know, there's only so much you can do about that. But that was by far their best game of the series. You know, even if they didn't shoot 67, even if they shot a more reasonable number, they were playing with confidence. They were playing together. They were sharing the ball. They played good defense. The Knicks got a couple hometown calls, which I don't like. I, we don't need those. I, you know, um, got a couple hometown calls. You know, uh, the Halliburton steal was rightly overturned. Jalen Brunson hunting fouls. You know, they called two travels on Nebar back to back. I don't love those calls. I want my team to win it on the merits. But my point is, even with that, the Pacers, they just consistently had an answer time and again and again. Halliburton had a good game. He sat out half the game. You know, to your point about a bench, TJ McCollum came in and and, and did his thing. Oh, the Knicks were just turning the ball over on inbound passes. That's when I knew it was over. You know, and and classic Knicks meltdown. Listen, I I and I know we're a little bit late on a, you know on the East Coast, but it is what it is. We had to come in and and, and, and get the, the the Facebook live in terms of the YouTube uh, call in, check in, chat, all the rest of that stuff. It, it, it's late, uh, but it's not, really not that late when you talk about what happened today in in, in the wonderful world of sports. I'm going to stick with the Pacers. I tip my hat. This is a Rick Carlisle-led team. This is what you expect from them. Rick Carlisle is an elite coach in the league, and, and they were ready. They were confident. 
they had counters and played through calls. It, 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 and, and so I'm I'm happy. I'm not happy for them. No, that's that's the wrong word. I tip my hat. I I put respect on their name is what I'm trying to say. That aside, their historic shooting and their confidence and their swagger and their will. The Knicks were down seven points in the second half. They had a window down seven. There was a couple possessions. Deuce McBride had a turnover. You know, they, they were possessions where they could have cut this lead to three. They could have tied the game up. And, and it was just the, the continual comedy of errors. Deuce McBride, you don't realize that it's an out-of-bounds play, not a made basket. What is going on? Jalen Brunson, Hertzstein throws you the ball. You're not ready. You know, it, it was just they continued to shoot themselves in the foot with boneheaded errors. And I, I don't want to hear about them being tired. And I don't want to oh, hear no, about no, no the usage. You know, no, what happened you. is you got, you got mad dog. No, this whole day, oh, Tibbs slander, and he runs guys into the ground. What did Josh Hart say? We're not teachers. We're not construction workers. We're not plumbers. We're not electricians. We play basketball for a living. When when it's going well and you're hitting threes, nobody talks about usage and about being run in the ground. When Jalen Brunson was scoring 40 points and he was the toast of the town, nobody cared about usage. You only t- People only talk that foolishness when the team plays bad. Well, you can't have it both ways. And what I'm saying in both series, I said this about Minnesota, mano y mano. Everybody has a plan until you get punched in the mouth. When you're in that square circle, what am I? I'm a critic. I'm a pundit. I'm an I opine. Okay, into the, 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 the internet universe. Late at night. On a work night. Okay, that's okay. When I got someplace to be, All right. I get my sleep and I'll be up early at it tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. My point is this. It wasn't the fatigue for the Knicks. They just got mad dog. The silence of the garden got to them. They started to feel and the, 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 the tension in the air and it got to them and it became a snowball effect. That silence, the Knicks, you know, that's what happens in a, in a game seven on the road. If you don't capture the momentum the crowd becomes an extra weight, an extra burden, an anchor, pulling you down. That was a part of the Knicks. Uh, that's what happened to Denver. Exactly. But, but we don't need to talk about what happened. They, they we talked about what happened to happen Denver, and it's the same thing. Another two home teams lose game seven. And the fact that they started feeling the heat, the pressure, However you want to say it, it's a real thing. And it affected my Knicks, and I'm not making excuses for them, and I'm not happy. Oh, well, you know, if it, you know, if they would have had – no, 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 no. It was a seven-point game. You're home. The crowd is going bananas. Deuce McBride, don't throw it across the court. Jalen Brenson, uh, you know, find a way. Make a play. It doesn't have to be scoring. It can be facilitating. I didn't like Dante DiVincenzo being on the bench for the entire second quarter. Tips, what are you doing? You know, everybody. Yeah, Tips, you can get some some, some of this smoke too. Why did Dante sit for so long in the second quarter? We didn't make any progress. You know, lucky it went from 20 to 15, got a couple favorable whistles. But, you know, Deuce McBride, he didn't give you much of anything today. He started the, 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 he started the third quarter hot. He, you know, he had some buckets, some straight line drives. He didn't give me anything. As the Knicks that. cut it to seven, that was the opportunity. How do you cut it to seven and still lose by twenty? Okay, because the Pacers kept their swag, they kept their confidence. Tyrese Halliburton talking to the fans, and the Knicks, you didn't have any of that. So now we have to get into our further conversation about, oh, next year, do we need to do this? Do we need to do that? Do we need to do the third? The answer is no. There's one solution for the New York Knicks, and I've been saying this from the beginning. 
complete La Cosa Nova and bring Mikel Bridges. I don't want to even have the conversations. Complete man. La Cosa Nova and bring Mikel Bridges home. Mikel Bridges is not going anywhere. They're not, they, already, they already said they're not giving, they're not trading them. It's the franchise they player. They can find another franchise player. Complete La Cosa Nova. Look. Donovan Mitchell, there's been some talk, you know, he wants out and, and and or if he stays, other people want out. He's not a good fit for the Knicks, period, end of story. Dante Mitchell, excuse me. Donovan Mitchell is a high usage, volume shooting two guard. Jalen Brunson you, you is a coach, high you, usage. You mean coach Mitchell? Whatever you want to call him. And he's from the New York area and all that stuff. I get it. I like it. Fine. He's not a good fit for this team. A. B. DiVincenzo, he's a starting two. It works. Him and Brunson in the backcourt. It works. We don't need we don't need we don't need to to okay. Bridges. And here's what I say. Because you have OG. What do you so what if you bring in Bridges, he plays the same position as OG. Is Julius Randle ever going to be healthy in the playoffs? Now, you're saying trade. I'm you're not, saying trade Julius because it's not happening. You just you just got OG and Anunoby. It's not happening, man. If if I had my druthers, if you ask me, hundred percent. Now, Julius, listen. I need Julius to commit to New York. I need you know he had the he had the surgery. He's out, so on and forth. You know, uh, Julius Randle. I don't like you talking about the Knicks fans criticizing you. I don't like your bad attitude at times. Period. Either you get down with La Cosa Nova. Either Julius gets down with the Nova movement, the selfless movement, or he can go. All right. Well, we, we all got to get Mikhail out of the division. Y'all got to get out of the division, man. We get we we bring in Mikel because you know what Mikel Bridges doesn't do. You know what Mikael Bridges doesn't do? He doesn't miss playoff games. You know what also he doesn't do? He doesn't risk regular season games. You know what, Mikael? He doesn't miss work ever. So why would you get rid of him? The Nets are going nowhere. We can trade you, Julie. I if I, I trade Randall for Mikael Bridges straight up today. They, why would they do that? Then you can take take the first because why does why does Mikael Bridges want to be playing for the for the, for the redheaded stepchild when he can oh. when he can when he can walk down the street and play with his get, homeboys for a championship because he's getting because he's getting a max deal what are you what are you talking so we can give him a max deal i don't think we you have no you can't yes we can you just gave if we got, rid, just of, paid if we got rid of julius randall we can we can give we can give randall's money to mikhail bridges and move but OG they're not four. why would the nets want to give why would the nets want why would the nets want randall over bridges first off Bring in a third team. Look, here's what it comes down to. It's not making it's, it's just, the, that 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 shoot for a star is. That's exactly it makes what plenty it is. of sense, and I'm gonna tell you why. It makes plenty of sense, and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, the Nets are going nowhere, and the Knicks competed for a championship. Second of all, he has his core group, La Cosa Nova, in New York. Why would I want to play with a bunch of me first, selfish? Play for five coaches and, and, and you're and, talking you know. about this coach. Didn't y'all didn't get out of the division round? So like, y- you know, puffing up your chest, the coach of Nova. You know, yeah, but y'all didn't get out of the first. Y'all didn't get out of the round. Yeah, and and we had eight players injured. Okay, All so right. no excuses. Yeah, no no excuses. But if I'm Mikel Bridges, hey, if you had so many players injured. I think that's a common scenario for a Tom Thibodeau coach team. All right, and again, the the, the, the easy uh, the slanderousness of my coach. Uh, we, we, no. Hey, right. you, uh, it's you, just you I'm just stating I'm just stating facts. But nobody got injured walking down the street. Andre. I'm just stating facts. Right. Okay, Tim Tim Tom Thibodeau and these guys are injured and uh, so on and forth. All right, keep that same energy, right? Julius Randle was healthy the last two. Play-
playoff runs. I'm not anti Randall. I'm pro Mikael Bridges. And what I want from Julius Randall is a firm commitment to this New York Knicks team, this New York Knicks culture. And again, Julius you know, Randall. I'll, I'll tell you this Julius Randall will be definitely wearing a Knicks uniform next year. All right. I, I, I have no issue with that. But what I'm saying is. Celtics had a good team last year with with with, with Robert Williams and, and Malcolm Brogdon. They had a good team. They, they weren't satisfied with good. I didn't Brandon like Brandon the Malcolm Brogdon. I don't think Malcolm Brogdon was enough. Okay. Malcolm Brogdon and Brad and, Steve, Brad and Stevens Malcolm tr- traded in a, a very Marcus. good for great. If Julius Randle comes back, I would go get Mikael Bridges and get rid of OG. We got to get Bridges. For, for, period. How for are they going to trade OG? They're not going to do they're it, not, man. That's, they're not going to trade OG. We, first of all, they, we, gonna, we, 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 the, we will trade the, OG the Knicks, tomorrow. Yeah, obviously. Why would the Nets do that? Third team. Bring in a third team. Make the money work. The Knicks have a million draft picks. We got to get Mikel Bridges. The dream scenario is we bring in Mikel Bridges. We keep Julius Randle. OG, I'm sorry. It had it was good for you know a hot minute, but this is a business. <laughs> and you're injury prone. Well, the record, the record with the record with OG in the lineup was like 21, and I don't even know what it was. It's good though. It was a good record. So so, yeah. so Mikael Bridges wouldn't match that record. I don't, I don't know. We don't. We, that's this is that you know that's a that's an unknown, Andre. OG we is do know than that, Bridges. No. All right. And OG is is, is as healthy as But Mikhail you know, Bridges? we we could we could talk about you know star star ratings on on two K. It's not gonna. Ha- I, we're talking franchise players Listen, here. Devin Booker wants to come to New York. That's nice. No, thank you. No, thank you. Kevin Durant. I I think he goes to OKC. Kevin Durant's unique. Kevin Durant's interesting. That's interesting because Kevin Durant is not injury prone. He's old, but he's not injury prone. So if Kevin Durant I, goes to OKC, then see you later, Denver. Fine. This whole Devin, first of all, Devin Booker is not, the Suns aren't trading Devin Booker. So that's just one. It's, 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 the Suns aren't, aren't giving up their franchise player. So he's angry. They brought in Coach Bud. They're that, going to have That's to, what I'm trying to say. Not, they're not trading. Devin Booker. But the Suns are competing for... What are the Nets competing for? They're going to be in the lottery next year again. They're not going anywhere. So they don't... That doesn't mean they just trade their franchise player, Andre. What are you talking about? We can make... They're not, they're not in the Raptor situation. They're pretty close. Yeah, well, they're not, though. The Raptors went complete rebuild. Yeah, and the Raptors have Scotty Barnes. And if and if RJ the Nets Barrett. go if the Nets go complete rebuild, who's it going to be around? Bridges. Well, why, why? You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get off get off of the Ben Simmons contract. They're on Bridges if Bridges wants to be there. He does want to be, to be there. there. No, he does not want to be. That's crazy. You gonna tell me Miguel Bridges wants to be five feet away from all of his homeboys competing for a championship? No, Andre. He's he's making millions of dollars. I I don't think okay. Mikel Bridges says anything about being in. One, he loved playing in Phoenix when they sucked. Okay, we're gonna have to agree to disagree. This whole narrative, and and as a Knicks fan, I, I'm I'm glad. Push back, stick 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 to your guns. But you're gonna tell me, if I'm somebody and all of my friends are right down the street. Playing on a team competing for a championship in a in a larger market, in an eastern. And we mean a larger market. You both are in, you live in the same city. Larger market. You know what? It's funny because if the Nets were okay, so, so the Clippers are the, the the Clippers are as big a brand as the Lakers. No, that's what I'm saying. I mean, of course, they're in the same city, and of course, Brooklyn. Brooklyn's probably larger than Manhattan. I don't think that's a d- debatable. Um, my point they just is, got into the, the city within five, 
It hasn't even been 10 years. New York is a better fit for Mikael Bridges than Brooklyn. All right, well, I'm if just anybody's telling you, pushing back. Not, I'm just telling you right now, for, coming from the Nets ownership, it's never going to happen. They, they, they're they holding on the to Nets him. ownership, what right. I'm telling you is we're we'll right. make them right. an offer they can't refuse. Because you see. <laughs> we're going to make them an offer they can't refuse. You're crazy. All right, next subject. The Knicks have to get Mikel Bridges. Next subject. It's possible. It's right there. We can do this. We can move some pieces around. Whoever has to be moved around can be moved around. We saw it would happen this year. Guess what, folks? You know what there's a high likelihood of next year? OG Ananobi being hurt. He gets hurt. He can't play a full season. So whether that's sitting in the, re- in the so, regular season So, you know, you just, or- you just got him. You just got him. So And you just paid him. So I don't like, think you understand, you know, yeah, he could get traded, but he just got there. So why would you get him, trade for him, then trade him immediately after you get him? It's not happening. Why would the Celtics get Malcolm Brogdon and then trade him immediately? Because Malcolm Brogdon is not fit. Malcolm Brogdon was not a – first off, I think Malcolm Brogdon was a whole, I want to be playing more, I want a bigger role. And no, for what? That's why you're in Portland with the same role, uh, a far less role than you had. Malcolm Brogdon fit fine for the one year. Had the Celtics broken through and gone to the finals, they could have they could have won it. All the rest of that stuff. If it's for a fifth, my point with the Knicks and the same thing: you trade good for great. OG with the Knicks, we're very good. With Mikhail, we're great. Okay, so you can say that, but the same thing with OKC. The OKC is good with with Kevin Durant. They're amazing. All right, but it, it's different narratives in that, you know. Well, it's they have a better chance. Narrative. OKC is a better chance of getting Kevin Durant than the Knicks do with Mikel Bridges. So, like, if you want to talk about something, let's talk about that. I think there there there's an equivalency. Kevin Durant will I, let you know when he's up. Kevin Durant will let you know when he's upset. Mikel Bridges is going to be a good soldier, but I guarantee you, behind the scenes, these conversations are taking place. No. Outwardly, he's going to be a good soldier. These scenes are not having. All right. All right. I, 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 I've already, we, we, you know, we can speculate all day, but like we said, all right. the Thunder have a better chance of getting Kevin Durant than. Okay. Mikel Bridges going uh, we're to gonna the ha- Nets. We're going to have to agree to disagree there. I'm saying off season, all the speculation, all the hype, I'm for it, you know, and how we can get the team better. What makes this team better is more La Cosa Nova, more continuity, more team first guys. I don't, I'm not saying OG and Julius, you know, they're, they're, they're here. We It's only been a half a year. We have to give it time to work. I get all of that. And I don't want to be alarmist. You, you but there's no like better fit for this New York Knicks. You sound like an alarmist. No, I, so I sound like a real I don't even think he hasn't even been – OG hasn't even been there for a full season. There is no just better got, fit for the just, New York Knicks He literally than just Bridges. got OG, not even 40 Mikhail miles. Bridges ago. is the best player. Then why'd you go get OJ? Why'd you go get OG? For this team. Right. Because we couldn't get Mikhail Bridges at the at the deadline. That's why we got over. Because <laughs> you're not going. Because he's not available, Andre. Mikhail Bridges. You know, there's players that are, that are not available that are not available for trade. Yeah. I feel like Mikhail Bridges yeah, is one of them. Drew Holiday was not available for trade until he was he traded. Was, no, he wasn't. That that's not true at all, actually. Okay, he was not available until he was traded. No, that, that's not so, true at all. Well, no. Drew Holiday. We Drew, we'll Drew Holiday was available. All right, yeah, he was available when Giannis kicked his kicked his behind out. So there's nobody that's and, not available. And, and, who, and, who, and who, who's kicking? Who's kicking? He's their franchise player. Who's kicking him out? The, the Nets are chips. The Nets are chips. So the Nets are gonna, the Nets are boneheads. They're not going to trade their franchise player for two role yeah, players. By the way, yeah, no, no, no they'll, they'll trade Mikel Bridges, okay, because they're interested in Cooper Flag. Yeah, yeah, I said it. I said it. All right, there's ways. Yeah, well, guess what? Hey, guess what? 
You want you want to know you want to know what tanking does for you this year? What what pick did the Detroit Pistons get? They can get the they can get the they can get the fifteenth pick for all I care. All right. Yeah. All right. So that Pistons old Cooper here. flag, that old Cooper flag thing, I don't want to hear. No, it's not tanking. Hear. It's you 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 trade for draft picks. You get picks. But you got but you got to understand. No, but no team, no team is gonna trade multiple what first round picks for Cooper flag. You understand that, right? That that pick is not getting traded. It's kind of like the Victor Wimbiana. It's not going to get traded. Point taken. I'll, There's I'll no chance. There. You can offer probably five or six first rounders. Because look at it. This year's first rounder or next year's first round, it's going to be crazy. Ace Bailey, Kim Cooper Flag. This year they're saying that the, the draft ceiling is Tobias Harris. That's what they said. This year it's taking Tobias Harris number one. Yeah, we'll see. They got these kids, the, the, the Frenchmen and the young kids from Kentucky who are going to take some time. We'll see. Look, folks, bottom line is this, my New York Knicks. This is a tough loss. I don't care about the historic night from the Pacers. I tip my hat to them. I don't want to hear about, you know, the, the tip slanderers. You can, you can you know, you, you, you couldn't wait. You jumped on the bandwagon for a hot second. Now you're back off the bandwagon with your same old takes. It means nothing to me. The Knicks just flat out laid an egg today, period. Laid an egg. It was there for the taking. Madison Square Garden, the whole city was behind them. All this foolishness right, about like using the tires. Mix. You know, how do people finish marathons? How do people set records in marathons? All right? You have an entire city cheering you on. That's how you do it, along with your training and preparation. There is a, a communal aspect that takes you to another level. That's what the Knicks had today, and it was squandered. All right, and it was used against him. The home court advantage was used against this Knicks team, and they started to feel the 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 the, the silence, the pressure, the butterflies, the second guessing, whatever you want to call it. That's what happened tonight. More so than any injury or hurt, or you hurt my feelings or any other nonsense. That that, that was un, you know the the the, uh, the Jalen Brunson injury. He hit Tyrese Halberton's uh, knee, fractured hand. We'll see if he needs surgery or if it'll just heal on its own, whatever. I, 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 I feel for him. But he was playing poorly before that. He was out of rhythm before that. He was not locked in before that. He wasn't moving the ball enough before that. He didn't play a good game, period. Okay? And the other, you know, I didn't like Dante DiVincenzo. I would have liked to see Dante DiVincenzo play the entire game. You know, we're grasping at straws. You, you just threw Alec Burke out there because you needed offense. You could have got the same offense from Dante DiVincenzo and let him be the alpha. He could have played all 48 minutes and been fine. I didn't like him sitting for as long as he did in the second half. That would stand it. You cut it to seven points in the third quarter with your starting five. The garden was ready to, 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 to rise up. And then you had boneheaded play after boneheaded play. Two of, two of them by Deuce McBride. What the heck are you doing? The turnover across the court and the freaking out of bounds. These are these are sophomore juvenile mistakes. Excuse me. And they happen again and again and again and again and again. That goes to 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 what's inside. You didn't see Halliburton out there making these mistakes. You didn't see TJ McConnell making these mistakes. All you didn't right, see Miles Turner out there making these mistakes. They were confident. They had a swagger. They had an energy. They had an enthusiasm. They had an optimism. Optimism. There was a pessimism about my New York Knicks. They were already ready to say, oh, well, you know. They were already looking for the excuses to say, oh, it was a good season. And we got this far. And we won 50 games. And what it could have, should have. And next year. They were not ready for prime time today. They weren't ready. Okay? So, 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 so let, let, let's talk that talk as well. I tip my hat to the Pacers. Respect for Carlisle going back. Halliburton, you came out. But that's what I'm saying. The swagger that Halliburton had all game. 
from the shot making, but then just from the optimism and like glasses half full. The Knicks had a glass half empty mentality today, and that was a part, a notable part of the game seven blowout at home. Okay. We saw what happened with Boston. They got the breaks beat off of them in a game seven last year at home. And, um, you know, now they're the favorites to win the championship. Am I saying that it's different? Brad Stevens had to completely rebuild the Celtics bench. He did that. Brad Stevens made a mega deal based on another piece and another situation, right? Dame forcing his way out. Dame couldn't get to Miami. He, he got, you know, he had to end up going where he landed. And he's not happy there, which a lot of people, most people will, will concede. But that allowed that domino falling in that way, right? If Dame goes to Miami, we don't get Drew Holiday. If Dame goes to, like, you know, if they trade him to Detroit, well, they would trade him, you know what I mean? So the Celtics kind of lucked into Drew Holiday. But the Knicks, this offseason, they have to. And, bro, I don't know if you're out of here or not. Muted himself. I'm not sure. We're winding down. I don't know if he can hear me, if he cannot hear me, but his screen is frozen on this next diatribe. Okay, we about an hour. I'm going to go for an hour 20 on this check-in. Um, past midnight on the East Coast. Don't care. It was a crazy, crazy is the wrong word. That's a generic term. Historic. It's been a historic night. Of game sevens, I, it, there's no two ways about that. It's been historic. On the Knicks side, in terms of a dud, welcome back, bro. I'm winding up the show. Uh, we'll get you in for some last takes uh, in terms of uh, what you have, and you can you can say what you need to say. So for we me, got a we had a, we had a big 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 win today. I would say for. Uh, the Twitch channel. Big win for the Twitch. The, tell, 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 tell the people about it. I beat the 26th player in. Bro, screen's frozen. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna give you a little bit more uh, about the uh, world. Okay, I go actually ahead. Made a nice. Look. Can you hear me? I can hear you yep, now. Go, so go, from, go from the top. I, go from the top. I beat the number 25th Madden player in the world. He has. I can tell you how many wins he has. Hold on, let me pull it up. So he has... Over a thousand wins. I can give you the exact number in just a moment as it loads up. So he has 2,425 wins. That's quite a few wins. Yes. To my 406 wins. So whooped him up. I was the Bucks, of course. He was the Cowboys. Battle-tested game. Pretty easy win, I would say. Uh, uh, yeah. Two, two interceptions. So if you ever want to see me uh, in Madden, the name is DK1011. DK1011. Yep. And the Twitch handle is DKing85. And I play Madden 2K, uh, FC, Grand Theft Auto. DKing1011. Yep. Yeah, that's my gamer tag on Xbox. You took down the number 28 Madden player on the planet. 25. 25th rated Madden player on the planet. On, on the planet. 2,500 Madden wins. But not against DK1011 today. No, zero against the, the zero. champ. Zero. There's a new sheriff in up. town. New sheriff in town, folks. Check him out on a Twitch. I get on there and, and jump in the comments. You, as you can tell, I have a couple things to say. Hopefully some of them more than the not makes sense. Um, tough day for my New York Knicks. 
Very tough day for my New York Knicks, folks. I wanted to wear this shirt on Thursday at the Garden. I was looking forward to it. I was pumped <laughs> to be in B-Town. Did I think we were going to win the series? No. But we were going to get to that series. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> Uh, but to the victor go to spoils to the victor go to spoils we, we tip our hats to the indiana pacers they balled out historic historic game shooting 67 percent scored 130 points um it was it was you know we're gonna on and on and on with adjectives and just a tremendous amount of respect for the minnesota timberwolves picked them to win the series i jumped off the bandwagon uh would not put down any shekels or we're not you know, my, my heart was with them because I picked them, but I thought Denver was going to handle it. And I, that looked correct to me, you, and everybody with Denver being up 20 in the, in, the, in, the, in the third quarter and defending champions. And it was just a tsunami. So tremendous amount of respect for Minnesota. Uh, it's a great team. It's a great story. Ant-Man going to be the face of the league. Cat, um, Pride of New Jersey, Ooh. Don yeah, Bosco, tired, Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert. Respect on his name, multiple defensive player of the year, Hall of Fame track. Um, and then Denver, respect to what you what you did, what you built as a true champion. Bro, thank you so much for being here. The Knicks are here. The Knicks are here. The Celtics are there. And we will get back at you. We'll see Monday, Tuesday, when, when the next when we're gonna jump back on. But San City Sports, we are here. Um, and just in conclusion, we are collaborating. The new the newest episode will be in conjunction with Fluent Sports. So we have a producer for our shows. So the, the you have the on the YouTube, but we have another platform that San City Sports is on. Fluent Sports, check them out. Like, comment, subscribe, all the rest of that stuff. And as we say, we will see you next time, bro. I really appreciate you being here. I'll be in touch, homie. Peace, all right, my boy. Peace, my bro. Peace.